Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to look at the WordPress dashboard. So this is the dashboard of WordPress when you have created a website. So this is what you, you can see. Now I'm using the Chrome extension for the WordPress. How you enable it is by going to the dashboard into WordPress. And then you can see there's this button here and you just install the extension and then you open it then you should be using this extension right now now there's also a wordpress software application for the desktop version and you can find it on your profile here under get apps so you can go to download whatever the versions you're on you should have the version that you want right so we will start talking about the dashboard from the reader first so we have the follow up sites. So these are feeds posts from the sites that you have followed and you can manage your follow sites here. So I can unfollow it, I can follow it, something like that. So it's like this. And there's some recommended sites and I can also search for some other site follow. -up. And for conversations, these are this will be started when you comment or like on some posts and it, it's just conversations and for discover it's a place like the instagram discover something like that for you to view other persons websites so you can have a look and then if you find it interesting then you can follow them you can follow their websites and then you, you it will show up here so, and then we have search. Search is basically, so this is basically like the follow-up sites. We have a search bar here also. So, yeah, it's basically the same thing. And for the search here, we have the search bar and then we have these recommended. So we can also follow here. So it's kind of like a, combination of follow sites and discover and then my likes are posts that you have like so for example if I go to discover right. so then it should be right here so these are the posts that you like and here the right button just to create a new post for your website so you have your profile here you can change your name just the normal profile thing and then the cost settings again um right just the normal things that should be appearing at the profile and these are the color scheme for your dashboard so you have quite a lot of color scheme i believe it was not this many at first so yeah there are quite a lot, really a lot. So, and then the next one is purchases. So, if you have purchase upgrades, then it will be showing up here. And your billing history and your payment methods, and security and privacy. So, password, social login, tools that authentication, connected apps, account recovery, and then privacy. We have this. Um, privacy thingy and then for notification setting you can set if you want email setting or um, browser notification setting on the if you have the application then it's the application notification so you can set if you want the notification for your comments for the updates for the reader subscription and then blog sites it's the sites that you have to appear in your reader and then get apps for you have a um, desktop version and you have mobile version of the apps and then the next one here we have the notification so if you take off take off this then it will show up here so if anyone commented on my site if anyone like on my comments or like on my posts and so on and so forth then it will show up here so this is all then we have unread comments follows and likes 
So now let's get back to the dashboard, my site here. Now in the home page, you have this set, set up to get you started with your website. And then you have these video tutorials and also the, the other tutorials here. And you have these quick links, edit home page, add a page, write blog posts, edit menus, customize theme, change theme, add a domain, create a logo. And then you have your help here. And this is an ad for the mobile application. Now, if we go to the stat here, you can see all the traffic and an analytics for your website. So you have your view, visitor, like, comment, and then posts and pages, search term, file download, referrals, authors, videos, countries, and clicks. So you can view it all here. And then for inside, you can view your posting activity. So this is like GitHub kind of activity graph where you can see a post based on the color of the grid. And then you have the all-time views. Then you have your latest post summary, most popular day and hour, text and categories, annual site stats, all-time posts, views and visitors, comments, publicized follower totals, followers. And you can view it all in the stats here. Right now we have go through plans before this, so we're gonna skip it here. Billing is actually the same. It's actually the same for the one in the account here. So we're gonna skip it too. So for site, we have pages, posts, media, comments, and feedback. So for pages, we have one pages here, one one page here first because it's a new page, it's a new website. Right, so the published pages means that the page is already published in the website. But the website we have here is private, so you should not see it. And draft, schedule, and trash, these are actually just drafts is the, the one that you have not posted, you have not published. And then schedule is the one that you have scheduled to be publishing soon. And then trash are the pages that are trash. Then for posts, we have also the same thing, publish, draft, schedule, and trash. And for media, these are the medias from your sites. So images, documents, videos, audio, and so on. So these are the images from the theme that I selected. So it's also shown here. And for comments, you can view all your comments, view all the comments from your site. So we have all pending, approved, spam, and trash. And then we have feedback here. So Jetpack, um, for Jetpack, it's actually an activity log and backup. So this one is kind of like a premium, uh, premium feature. So as you can see, I can only view five activities in this log. So to unlock more activities, I need to pay. And then for backup, it's actually giving you the feature to giving the chances to go back to the previous version. And you can choose any version that you like. So if you have a website and you have change it over the time, and then when suddenly you want to go back to the previous version, then you can do so. So in design, we have the customize and the themes. So we we'll go to the themes first. So these are the recommended themes. And there's actually a lot of themes. And then this is the one that I've selected for now. Right, so for this one, you have live demo, which you can view which you can view and try out how the website actually is, how the theme actually looks like, and then you can view it on the yeah, other version as well, the other devices version. So this is what it looks like on mobile, and you can try and customize it or activate it. If you activate it, then it will, be, it will become the theme for your current website.
and they will override the team that you have selected. So we'll close this and you have activate is the one that I've said just now on the info and support. Then for this one, it's customized like the more info and support. So we'll go with the customize. This customize and this customize is the same actually. Alright, so in the customizer, you can set up a few things, site identity, colors and backgrounds, menus, widgets, homepage settings, and additional CSS. So you have the device control here. So your desktop, a tablet, and a phone. Alright, so this is the one that I've chosen for now. So inside identity here, I can add my logo or create logo with the one fever just now in the homepage there, if you recall it. So, and then you can add your tagline here and also the footer credit, the footer credit, so this one. Okay, and then for colors and backgrounds, you can choose your colors. So if I choose this one, so this is a Dark team, I think. And as you so you can you can choose individual color. So this is the background color and the text color and the link color and your secondary color. Alright. So these are the palettes. These are the preset ones. And there's a message there telling you that try to maintain a strong contrast ratio between the color. Now for menus, we are we'll be editing the this menu, so the navigation menu. So this one we have the menus, we have menu location. The menus is actually editing the menu, so you can name the menu and then you can edit the links. So if you want it to open in a new tab, and then you can set the attribute, the CSS classes, link relationship, and description. So then you can add items also. So if you have an blog page or if you want to add anything, then you can add here. Then for the menu locations, this you can set whether you want this menu to be appear in red. And then for this menu options, automatically add new top level pages to this menu, which means that if you add a new top level page, you add the page to this menu so you can direct it directly to the page and then for this you have the main locations so if i have two menus here then i can maybe the footer menu i want a secondary menu maybe the social links menu i want the secondary menu like that all right so for the widgets you can appear you can add the widget so that it here in the footer here. So we have quite a lot of widget, I guess my widget, archives, audio, author, blogs that I follow, and so on. So there's quite a lot you can try it yourself. And then for the homepage setting, we'll be setting this homepage. So you you can set if you want your homepage to display your latest post or just a static page, means that it will always display the same post and then your home page and then your post page and then you can hide your home page data and then this one is for additional CSS and this is you need to purchase the premium plan to activate this CSS customization now this one is not like the plugins where you need to have the business plan so this one I believe you just need the $8 premium plan so if we go to the plans here, yeah, we just need this premium plan. Now, then we'll go to the plugins. So we have quite a lot of plugins here. WooCommerce, WooCommerce is actually quite popular for e-commerce. We'll explain it later in this workshop. All right, so 
We have different kinds of plugins, engagement, security, appearance, and routing. And there's a, also highlighted plugins here. And for import, we can import our content from the different sites, from the different content management system. So we have WordPress, Blogger, GoDaddy, Media, Squarespace, Wix, and there's more to this list, which you can go to this. And also you can export your content from this site. So you can export it. If I want to export, export the post by me, or maybe I want to export the pages by me or the feedback, then I can export the selected content or I can download all the media library files. So those are those in here. Or I can download it directly here. So in marketing, you have your marketing through marketing tools, your traffic connections and sharing button. So in this one, you have some message and so for this one, you have some recommendation. So creating a logo with fever, adding the messenger chat to your Facebook, uh, to your websites. And this one is actually a plugin. So you need a business plan or the e-commerce plan. And then you have the community growing and income with earn two. So this one is in the next one. And then you can get social and share your blog posts. So you can share your website. You can share your posts. We'll come back to this later. And then Upwork is actually a freelance platform. So you can find an expert there to help you maintain and design your website. Alright, so for traffic. So this search engine optimization, we need a business plan. And then this one related post, show related content of the post. These are the example of it. So after your post, it will show some related ones after it for the users to continue reading or continue surfing. And then you have your Google Analytics. So you can connect it to Google Analytics with a premium plan. And then you have sitemaps and site verification services. For connection, you can publicize your posts on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. And then you can also manage connections, so you can connect to your Google photo, then you can access the photos in your library. Also, Mailchimp, Instagram. And then for this one, you can customize how the sharing button looks like in your posts, in your sites. So this one is the preview of the current one. So you can edit the label tags, you can add sharing button, you can add more button, you can choose the button style. And then you can show this button. You can you can choose to show these buttons or not. And also there's an option for these sharing buttons. So where you want to show the buttons on and then comment lights for all posts or if you want individual posts. And then for earning money. So you can collect payment, accept donations and tips, collect payments for content, send paid email, newsletter, collect PayPal payments, earn ad revenue, refer a friend to earn some money. But this all, you have to upgrade to a premium plan to enjoy this feature. Now for hosting configuration, you can access your website's database and uh, advanced settings, but we need a business plan, so we're going to skip it. For domain, this is the domain that the WordPress assigned for me, and it is free. So you can add a domain to this website, then you can change your primary domain. For per here, so there's only one person in your team. I can invite a friend and given the role, to help me maintain or help me design or manage the team, manage the website. And here we have the followers, email followers, viewers, and invites. And for this setting, it's actually about the website setting, your website. 
I will talk about this in the next video.